Hi everyone, it's Mary. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So over the past weekend, I went and got a new bookshelf off of Facebook Marketplace because we've really outgrown the bookshelf that we have and we have books laying around everywhere. And we decided to basically get a new small bookshelf that can fit in our living area and that we can use to store all the great books that we own. It is a ladder bookcase and I think there's only four shelves on here so I want to use this as basically a display of uh, some of the editions of books that I am collecting, my TBR, mostly paperbacks because it is more of a you know thinner material and also the bottom shelf I'm thinking of storing all my cookbooks uh, I do have more than this space will fit, so we're going to have to figure something out, but I um, have some plans for this bookshelf, and so I wanted to show you guys how it's going to look like, the before and after, and then after this, I am going to have to tackle the beast that is my bigger bookshelf. Our place is just filled with books, which is the way I want it, but it is a little crazy. And because it is a little crazy and we have too much books, of course, I have a book haul to show you guys. <laughs> because what is life without new books, right? Earlier last week, I went with my friend to Goodwill and I went there looking for one, well, one book, but also a couple different books. And I came out with many, many. And there were so many more that I wanted to get, but I had to make the executive decision to <laughs> pick the ones that I'm going home with. Um, but these were a really great deal. I'm very, very excited about them. So the first book is The Gold Finch by Donna Tart. So I do have a copy of this book on my bookcase. It is my friend's copy and it is a hardback. And that is literally the only reason I have not read it yet because this book is so big already. Having it in like hardback is heavy and I don't like reading hardback. So I was excited to see it in paperback. This one I'm very excited to read. I have not read anything from Donna Tart, but I always have had my eye on the Goldfinch. And this one was $3.29. The next book I have is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, which is a memoir. I have also had my eye on this book for years. And then when I saw this copy at the thrift store, I decided it has to come home with me. I've heard really, really great things about this book and it was a very well uh, kept edition. I don't even know if anyone read from this, but nonetheless, it is mine. <laughs> and this one I also got for $3.29. This is also an edition that was like pristine and it is Virginia Woolf's Orlando. And this one, I was like flipping through the pages and then I got to this page and it has an indigo bookmark in it. I wonder if someone got this book to read it, got to page 14 and decided I'm not reading this anymore <laughs> and donated it. Very interesting, but I am so, so excited for this one. It is a part of the A Game of Tomes book club. And so I am really excited that I got to get a secondhand copy. And this one was $2.29. The next book I got is Ulysses by James Joyce. Um, ben McElroy on YouTube here always talks about Ulysses. And it is a beast that I am afraid to read. But hopefully sometime this year I'll get to this book. Um, this copy is definitely used. Someone definitely read it. The spine is cracked. It's just... There's something so special about older books feels like there's more history to it but i am so excited for this book it'll definitely be going on my bookshelf here um and i got this one for 3.29 the next book uh this is a children's classic i guess you could say and it's the first book in the chronicles of darnia series by c.s lewis this is a part of a reading thing reading vlog that i've been working on and I have to read this book as a part of it. So I am excited that I got to find the book at the thrift store because I know it is such a widely known book. I knew I could find it secondhand and I would not have to pay full price for it. 
um, and most of the series was there. I only got book one, but there was also book three, four, and five, I think. I don't know where book two was. I couldn't find it, so I didn't. I w if the whole series was there, I probably would have bought it all of them but because there were a couple missing I just decided to go with the first one and this one was one dollar and 29 cents and then the last book is actually the book I went looking for and it is The Catcher in the Rye so this is a part of the A Game of Tomes book club as well and I was looking for like I was scanning the bookshelves and looking for orange because the classic like well-known cover is like the orange cover and I could not find it anywhere and near the end, when I was putting back some of the books that I decided not to get, my friend was putting them back on the shelf and she put it, one of the books right beside this one. And then, so I, you know, my eyes scanned it and I was like, wait, that is the one that we came here looking for. So really excited to find this very old edition. And this one was $2.29 as well. So really, really really great finds at the thrift store altogether i think this was like 15 dollars and some change which is fantastic i would have gotten like one book for that price so i really love love thrifting books and then the two books that i got for my boyfriend for valentine's day so the first one is the spy family um second book in the manga series we are reading this series together so i thought it would be good to get the second one so that we have the next book once we finish reading the first one. So I thought that would be a nice gift. And then I got the Liminal Zone by Junji Ito. So my boyfriend loves Junji Ito and this is one of his books that we do not own. So I thought it would be a great gift to get. And I don't know, I mean like Junji Ito is known for really scary, <laughs> scary, uh, pictures and drawings and lots of blood and gore but this cover kind of like spoke to me for valentine's day you know it's like a girl there's like red um probably nothing about love in here but you know <laughs> it is what it is so yeah so those are the books that i bought recently and now we can move on to building this collection of books that i'm going to add with this bookcase i'm really excited i'm gonna turn on the lights because it is a little dark in here it is rainy today so sorry for the bad lighting but we will prevail and do this together okay so i've got my frederick bachman books here oh this is not by frederick this is my kazoo shiguru book but I've got Man Called Uwe, Anxious People, and the Beartown series. So, maybe we can put those over here. I have all my Penguin English Library editions, so I think we'll also add that to this. It's been so long, you've been so tough, you've kept it up, you've kept me up. Since I have them here, I'm going to add my two Kazu Ishiguru books that I haven't read yet. These are all falling over because I don't have anything to keep them in place. I have all of my Pen Macmillan's. But I feel like I don't know if they will stay. I don't know. I'm going to put them here for now and then we will decide. I have all of my Penguin classics here. So I think it'll go... You can't see, but on the shelf down here. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Okay, I have some of my Murakami books, so maybe we can add that there. 
And then I think I'm gonna add my Mitch album books here because he's one of my favorite authors. So here are my Mitch album books. Been standing tall, keeping strong, and I'm doing well. I'm eating more. I think I'm either gonna add my books by Hanya Yanagahara or my John Steinbeck because I am trying to collect these um, editions. Hmm, that fits well. Now we can move on to the next shelf. I think this is how we're gonna keep this one. I don't know. I'm so particular about heights and things like that, but I don't think it will be perfect because I do want it in categories. If it wasn't in like, you know, by author and stuff, then maybe not, but I think we'll keep it like this. This next shelf, I'm thinking of doing my TBR. So I'm thinking of adding the books I have in my 23 in 2023, the ones that I own, as well as any book club books. I think we'll do that. My, this is kind of an awkward angle. I've got my 23 and 2023 here. So these are the books that I want to read this year. So I think I'm gonna go and find the ones that I own. And then we'll put some, put them on here. And though you might think that you're fine, you need someone. And though you've been this is what this bookshelf is gonna stay like. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, so for now we've got a shelf of favorite authors, uh, editions that I'm collecting, and books on my TBR. This shelf is full of things that are on my TBR plus just some other ones that I want to read sometime soon. I really need to take these stickers off these books, but they were not coming off easily. This is the last shelf. And here I'm thinking of putting all my classics that I am collecting specific editions of. So we've got the Penguin um, Black Classics. So we've got that here. Then I've also got I've got a lot of other classics here. We've got the um, Penguin Modern Classics here. And then we have the Oxford Editions. This is also a Penguin Modern Classic, but um, an older spine. And then we can put that there. And then we have a bunch of Alice Munro books in these modern classics, as well as the vintage red spines. So I think that would look nice here. And then last I have these uh, modern library editions of some classics as well. I don't know if they're all gonna fit. I don't think they will. 
Okay, maybe we can flip these to go the other way. Two. my last shelf I wanted to add cookbooks so I think I'm gonna go over to my cookbooks and just select a couple that I want to keep here I do have a lot that I don't use so we do need to go through them and decide which ones we want to donate and which ones we want to keep but I will put the ones that for sure I think we will keep here that we may not use on like a day-to-day -day basis those ones I keep um, up on this cabinet because it's just easier access. I'm sure I will be rearranging this for many, many weeks to come, but I think this is where we are going to leave it off. Let me flip you guys around and show you what I decided to keep on this bookshelf. The top shelf, I didn't want to put too much on here because of the gap between the wall. First, we've got the Penguin Cloth Bound Classic War and Peace, and I just put a candle on top. And we have my Pan Macmillan Editions. So we've got some classics here. I will most likely reorganize things by author or by alphabetical order. But for now, we're just going to leave it the way it is. And then I just have another candle here to kind of do like a stopper so they don't fall over. Moving on to the next shelf. I love the shelf. So first we've got my John Steinbeck books in the um, Centennial Editions. And we've got the classic Letters to a Young Poet because I love reaching out and just reading a page or two every once in a while. And we have my Penguin English Library editions. These are books that I started collecting through these editions. So we've got some good books here. We've got A Room with a View, Pride and Prejudice, To the Lighthouse, Persuasion, and Weathering Heights. Then we've got all my Mitch album books. Then we have my Kazuo Ishiguro books. Then my Murakami. And lastly, we have Frederick Bachman here on this shelf. So that's that shelf. And then moving on, this one was a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I wanted this area to be what is next on my TBR, what I want to read, kind of easy access and things that I don't need to really think about. So first we have the Spy Family manga. We've got the first two editions. Then we've got some selected uh, stories by Edgar Allan Poe. I just thought this would be a nice small read to have here and grab whenever I want to read a story or so. Then we've got some Shakespeare. Then we've got The Catcher in the Rye, 1984. David Copperfield, Little Woman, Chronicles of Narnia. Orlando, Ulysses, The Shining, The Kite Runner. So these are all books like from The Catcher in the Rye up to um, The Kite Runner that's currently on my TBR for this year. Then I really love Toni Morrison's spines so I added them here just because they look pretty. Then we've got some more books here. So we've got Johnny Appleseed, Blood Meridian, we Are All Made of Glue, Call Me By Your Name, Northanger Abbey, A House in the Sky, The New Manga by Junji Ito, and Babel or Babel. It's a big mix of different books, but even though it may look <laughs> chaotic, it is very practical. So I did want to use this in a practical sense as well as visually appealing. Moving on to this shelf is where I wanted to kind of show off all the different editions that I like to 
buy if the option is available. So we've got the Penguin Classics with the black spine here, which I will most likely again rearrange in alphabetical order, but that's for another day. <laughs> then we've got the Modern Library Classics. So we've got Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens and then Karanina, which I also have over here, <laughs> and Bleak House. And then we've got some modern classics here, kind of mixed in with these Oxford and Vintage. So we've got a bunch of different great books. Dickens, George Orwell, James Joyce, Shakespeare, H.G. Wells, and then lastly, some Alice Munro. Really like this shelf. <laughs> And then lastly, this is more so practical than anything else, but it just added some of our most used cookbooks in this area. And then because it didn't fill up this entire shelf, I did put this kind of fake plant here to use it as like a book stopper. And then back here, uh, I don't know how to display this nicely, but I've got a book stamp that my friend customized for me, as well as a stamp pad. So any books that I know I will be keeping, I do stamp my name in it for fun. <laughs> but I've got that there. And then we've got my TBR bin of most of my unread books that I have in my collection. And then this is a really, <laughs> it's a very special jar, although it may not be pretty. Um, I've had this jar in my family for years, and I like to keep all of my different sticky tabs in here, bookmarks, all those things. Kind of a book memento jar. And because I can't close it, I have the lid under there. So it may not be pretty, but again, practical. So that is the shelf. Here it is. <laughs> I really, I'm really excited. It's, I'm happy to have this done. It's been empty in here for a couple of days. And I was just imagining all the things I could do to fill this bookshelf up. And I think I didn't expect to be able to fill as many books as I did. Uh, there's so much still vertical space. I could have probably, like, they could have probably added another shelf into this with all the space that I did not take up vertically. But that's okay. I'm still so excited. It makes me want to just read. I feel like I need, like, a little cushion here so I could just read by my bookshelf. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make the uh, decisions that I had to make for this bookshelf. Next, we are going to have to tackle my big bookshelf and my boxes of books that I have laying around. Uh, I think that's going to be another week, another week's uh, problem because I don't want to deal with it this week, but we'll figure out some time to go through that and also see if I want to donate any books that I have read and didn't really like. I have a few in mind and also um, how I can organize it and make it more functional because having books behind books is very challenging to see what you actually own and what you want to read. I do have an app on my phone where I scan all of the books so I know what I own and what I have but it it's different than when you can actually see everything uh, when you do look at your bookshelf. So I hope this will help me uh, read more from my physical TBR rather than online, either through my Kobo or on Libby. So how exciting! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for spending the afternoon with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are, and I will see you guys next week. Happy reading! Are you investigating too? Lazy Sunday mornings Hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite